The Galaxy S10 is an impressive phone, but some early users have been reporting issues with the new in-display fingerprint reader. It turns out there's a secret to getting it to work well. It barely worked at all for me until Samsung told me what I was doing wrong. This is Rich Brome with Phone Scoop, here to show you the correct way to train your Samsung Galaxy S10 to read your fingerprints. When you add a new fingerprint, a process called training or enrolling, most phones ask you to touch the sensor many times and to make sure you get all parts of your fingertip, not just the center. When you start training the S10, it appears to do the same thing, asking you to press over and over again while different parts of a big fingerprint icon turn green as you go. To me, this looks like a visual cue to press different parts of my fingertip against the sensor. But it turns out that's the wrong way. After training, it simply wouldn't recognize my fingerprints. The correct way is to just tap the center of your fingertip over and over again, minding the text instructions but ignoring the giant visual. Sometimes it will prompt you to rotate your fingertip or move it up and down, but apparently you should only do this a little bit. You should only try to scan the edges of your fingertip in step two when the on-screen text specifically tells you to do that. Also, it's even better to train it just the way you'll hold it when you unlock it, which for your thumb probably means holding the phone naturally in your hand. That way you're sure to get the right angle. After training my S10 this way, the reliability of the fingerprint has been quite good for me. If you ask me, this graphic is extremely misleading. There are many other ways to visually show progress that wouldn't create this confusion. I hope Samsung considers an update to make it obvious and intuitive how to train your fingerprints correctly. In the meantime, I hope this guide helps you enjoy your Galaxy S10.